this is Shannon Tidwell back again with your third installment of Products You Love Every Which Way. This month we are all about buttons. So buttons are something that basically last forever. The button supplies that I've used on these layouts I've probably had for years. But there are all kinds of new buttons and embellishments with buttons on them. So new or old, they'll all work fabulously for the ideas that I have for you for this class. On the first layout here, this Love You layout, I wanted to show you what I did. I basically made this button border um, and I just kept stacking buttons on. Um, I used a hot glue gun because I wanted it to be good and strong and not fall off later and um, that way you don't have to worry about the um, adhesive being strong like between the buttons because I know sometimes adhesive when you've got two plastic things doesn't work as well. Um, the hot glue gun does make some little strings but you can just kind of pick those off not a big deal. Um, so what I want to do today in this video is show you how I did this. Um, I'm going to make another project actually a little frame that I'm going to do for my daughter. So what I've got first I'll show you the frame that I want to use. I'm going to use one of these Doodlebug 8x8 shadow frames. I love these. I have a whole wall of different frames in my kitchen and I want to kind of do the similar thing in my daughter's room. So to get that started what I want to do is cover this heart with buttons and then adhere it on to this background and put it in the frame. Okay, So I cut this heart with my silhouette just so it would be a good heart um, size and shape. But you could just sketch one out. You could also just draw it lightly where you want to put it on your background. But I just did this so that I could um, just because that's how I thought it would be easier. So we'll see how So it what I'm going to do is I've got a big jar of buttons and I'm going to just start gluing them on with my glue gun. So I will do a few and then um, I'll show you the end result when it's all done. Okay? So I'm just going to grab a handful of buttons out and start. I'll probably concentrate more on using pinks and greens, um, a few more girly colors, just that's the colors of our room and some of these shaped ones we won't need but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm just going to start. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on and just start putting them on. So basically I want it to be, it's going to be stacked so this bottom layer won't be the final layer that you see. I'm going to try to put on as many as I can. As you can see, I'm still just putting buttons on, kind of putting bigger ones at the bottom layer and the less interesting ones on the bottom layer, and then I'll cover those up with some cuter buttons. The hot glue is pretty hot. It's great to have fingernails whenever you're working with hot glue. They work well but it will be sticky and kind of all over the place. But again, once it's dry, you can go in and pull all the strings off and clean it up. So I'm just working my way around, trying not to make too big of a mess. But I'm pretty messy. And here I am still putting buttons on. Um, you can see I'm getting closer to the end. Um, Still going with the same theme of pinks, a little bit of purple, green, a little bit of yellow thrown in. I'm trying not to get my fingers stuck in the hot glue, which is always interesting. Again, putting down the flatter 
less interesting buttons on the bottom layer, and then adding in some cuter ones on top of that. Great way to use up the buttons you've got in your stash. I'm just going to keep adding and adding until I feel like it's done. So that might take a while, but luckily it's really easy to do. happy with how I've got my button heart looking. It still needs to be cleaned off from the hot glue gun strings some more, but I want to go ahead and show you um, how I'm going to put it in the frame. So I've got this. I already cut this cardstock to 8x8, eight eight, which is the size of the frame, and I'm going to glue this heart right onto the paper. I think I'm just going to do it straight. And I believe I'm going to just go ahead and use some more hot glue just so I know it's a good, strong bond. I've got hot glue stuck to my work surface, but oh well. So I am going to just do some big okay. And now without sticking my fingers in it, put it down on the paper. Sketch it a little bit into a flat surface. Okay, now that should just take a minute to set. Okay, so I've got my button hearts adhered to the background paper and I'm just going to go ahead and put it in and see if it'll work without me having to adhere it to the backboard. We'll see how it works, but it looks pretty sturdy. So we'll give it a try. These frames are really nice quality. So that looks pretty cute. I think it'll look really cute on our wall. I still need, like I said, to go in and clean up some of the hot glue gun strings and stuff, but all in all, I'm really pleased with the project. So I hope that you will do one too and share it with me on two piece. And now this is the second layout that I did for the class. On this layout, I used some twine and strung the buttons along the twine. And it's really easy, much easier than having to stitch each one on individually, but you still get that kind of sewn on look. So you can see that I did all white buttons and then mixed in a couple red ones just to kind of go along with the love theme of the layout. Um, whenever I hook banners on, I like to kind of hold the layout up and pinch where I want start and ending to be so I get a natural hang of the banner and then I went ahead and attached it. I used the little tiny attacher from Tim Holtz to attach the ends and then I added a few glue dots under a few of the buttons just to help hold it in place so it didn't move. But it still has that nice natural hang to it. So. I am going to do another frame like I did with the other layout um, because I figure I might as well continue with that theme and get some home decor done for my daughter's room at the same time. Okay, so now I'm ready to start on my button banner. I um, have an 8x8 piece of paper again that will fit inside the doodlebug frame and I've still got my pile of buttons dumped out here. And I'm going to go with the same um, color scheme as I did on the heart, just because it's going to go in the same room. So I cut the twine longer than I needed, but um, I'll be able to just kind of measure as I go. Okay? So I find that this twine worked well because it's kind of stiff, whereas um, other string can be just a little bit too hard to get through the smaller holes because it's not stiff enough. Use that side of the button. So just start threading them on. With the, the twine I notice that it's a lot easier to go once you put it in one hole to go ahead and move the button to where you want it and then thread it through 
the second hole. It's a little harder to move once you get both holes threaded. But I kind of want them to stack onto each other like that. And don't worry about the direction because I'm going to use the back side of this button. For now, once I get it situated, I can put a glue dot there so it stays and doesn't flip over. Let me see how low. Definitely making a big dent in my button stash this month, which is a great excuse to have to buy some more. You can kind of work it so that the little buttons go over top the little the larger buttons. Okay, so I think I've got enough buttons on here to make a little banner. So what I was talking about before is I like to do is just kind of hold the ends and hold it up like this and kind of figure out where I want it to be. It just seems to work better if you hold it up like that. So once I kind of figure out where I want my ends to be, I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I think I'll use this. this little tiny attacher. Works great for things like this. Just put a couple in there. Let's see where I had this one. And right now you don't need to worry about the buttons. Just kind of get your the drape right, how you want it to hang. And then we'll go back in. and kind of twist the buttons around and put little glue dots underneath a few of them to help hold them in place. I'm just about done with this button banner. I'm just adding a few more um, just glue dots just in strategic places just to help it um, be a little more sturdy on the page and so it doesn't flip. The buttons don't flip the way I don't want them to. It just kind of helps everything stay where I want it. So I have the um, banner on and I decided that the page needed a little bit of something else and I was going to use this but it ended up just not quite working. It was a little larger than I wanted. So then I found these cute little owl stickers that I had from my mind's eye and just nestled them onto the banner and I think it looks pretty cute. Now I've got the button banner inside the frame with the little owls on it and it looks pretty cute. This is the third layout that I wanted to show you from the class. On this layout, all I did was use um, the buttons to make a design. And I just lightly traced right on to the cardstock and then put the buttons down. On this one, I used a liquid adhesive. Um, I used, let's see, I used this Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue, and it worked really well. Um, I think. Um, that for my third frame that I'm going to do, I don't have time to add it on to this video, but look for it in the gallery later this month. But I think I'm going to do a third frame and trace out the letter G and then put them, put the buttons on that. And so I'll have three button frames to hang in Grayson's room. So I hope you've enjoyed the class, um, products you love every which way for March. Please get your buttons out and put them to work. Thanks.